The endodontic section is a three-hour exam consisting of two endodontic procedures on two simulated teeth. You will treat one maxillary central incisor simulated tooth, including access, instrumentation, and obturation. You will access one mandibular first molar simulated tooth. You must identify all canal orifices. You are allowed in the lab 30 minutes before the beginning of the exam to set up and receive a setup check by the simulation floor examiner. SFE. Your teeth, mounted in sextants, with pre-op radiographs will be distributed at the appropriate time during your endodontic examination. There are arrows and signs found within the school that will direct you to the sim lab. You will have an assigned time and location for your endodontic examination that will be listed on your clinical exam schedule. Once schedules are posted, they cannot be modified. Have your candidate ID badge visible when entering the lab. You can show your packet with a badge adhered to the top or have a badge visible for the proctor. Once in the lab, you should attach a badge to your outer gown. The lab will open for candidates 30 minutes prior to the start of the exam to set up, mount the arches with sextants, and get your setup check by the simulation floor examiner, SFE. No assistants are allowed in the sim lab. 3D printed acrylic teeth are used to demonstrate endodontic competency using maxillary central incisors and mandibular first molars. Practice teeth are available from Accidental. They will not be the exact same teeth on which you'll be tested for the exam. However, the materials will be the same as the exam teeth. The endodontic scoring criteria rating scale is found in the endodontic section of the candidate guide. REB examines candidates with varying educational backgrounds and schools may teach different endodontic procedures. REB does not look for one standard procedure and scores according to the published criteria. You will be given three hours to complete the exam and will be allowed in the simulation lab an additional 30 minutes before the exam to set up. Academic materials will be used for the endodontic section the teeth to be used on the exam are X2 endo teeth. In the simulation lab, you will receive a Ziploc bag with your assigned teeth, one maxillary central incisor, and one mandibular first molar, mounted with apex putty and fixing gel in the appropriate sextants. There will be a secure number printed on the sextants, which will be pre-assigned to your REB candidate ID number. The bag will also contain two preoperative radiographic views for your assigned teeth, one buccal lingual view and one proximal view. An endodontic worksheet is provided for you to fill out prior to setup check. You will need to provide the maxillary modupro endo arch with magnetic carrier tray and three removable sextants. The mandibular modupro endo arch with magnetic carrier tray and three removable sextants. An articulator may be required at some sites. Check your exam site's information. You must bring the upper and lower carrier trays with all necessary sextants to complete the arches. No extracted teeth should be in any of the sextants. Only the supplies listed in the exam site information will be provided by the school. You must provide all other supplies and equipment, including special equipment or mechanical files. Before entering the simulation lab, make sure you have all necessary equipment and supplies. All six sextants must be mounted in the arches during treatment. This demonstrates the proper mannequin position arches in place and worksheet for a setup check by the simulation floor examiner. At setup check, the floor examiner will evaluate, approve your setup. Before asking the floor examiner for a setup check, be sure your sextants are properly mounted in the arches, the arches are properly mounted in the mannequin, and the mannequin is in a proper patient head position. You should also have the light on with your worksheet and mirror ready for the floor examiner. Do not start any treatment until the floor examiner announces that the exam has begun. 
a rubber dam must be placed before any treatment and remain in place during the treatment. It is in place to simulate a clinical situation. The rubber dam must cover all maxillary and mandibular teeth not being treated to simulate an actual clinical situation. You may choose to remove the rubber dam when taking radiographs, but it is not mandatory to remove it. Single or multi-tooth isolation is acceptable. Placing the rubber dam clamp on an adjacent tooth is recommended. If all is correct, the floor examiner will sign the worksheet. This does not mean that you can start the examination. You may start only after the floor examiner announces that the examination time has started. Remember, the start of the endodontics exam is an announcement. To complete the endodontics section, you will perform the following. Anterior tooth procedure. You will perform endodontic treatment of one maxillary central incisor, including access, instrumentation, and obturation. Instrumentation technique, either mechanical or manual, is at your discretion. Posterior tooth procedure. You will perform endodontic access on a mandibular first molar, provided in your endodontic Ziploc bag. Be sure that the grading examiners can identify the orifices of all canals. You are not required to instrument or obturate any posterior canals. Please refer to the endodontic scoring criteria rating scale, which describes all of the criteria that will be used by grading examiners to score the access. Here are the two views of an endodontically treated maxillary central incisor, also depicting the 2 mm sphere used by grading examiners to score by criteria. When taking radiographs, the sextants should be removed from the arches. A 2 mm sphere is embedded in the sextants. The mandibular molar access must allow examiners to identify, visualize all canal orifices, as if all canals were to be treated. Remember, the exam starts when the floor examiner announces it starts. If you do not have a setup check completed within the 30 minutes allotted time, the examination will start without you. You must receive a setup check before you may begin your endo exam. The endodontic examination ends three hours later, and the floor examiner will make several announcements of time remaining. Make sure you use the checklist printed on the endo worksheet and have the sextants, radiographs, and worksheet in the baggie and in the proctor's hand by the announced end of the examination. After the end of the exam, late penalties will be assessed. Candidates with a failing result in endodontics may have the opportunity to retake the section on clinic day three. This will be dependent on each candidate's scheduled sections and individual time constraints. The operative section must be completed before an on-site retake may be attempted in endodontics. Three hours will be allotted for endodontic retakes on clinic day three. There is no additional fee for an on-site retake. If for any reason the section is not retaken on site, candidates would apply to retake the endodontic section at a different site and retake fees will apply. This algorithm shows the passing requirements for the endodontic section and the weighting of each component. The score for each category is based on the middle, median score of the three scores determined by examiners. The median grade is then weighted and summed. A score of 3.00 or higher is required to pass the section. This chart can also be viewed in a candidate guide.